Previously on NTV. So I'm going to draw an overview of how a heart blade attack might work. Palo Alto Network's DNS sync over. F5 and WebSense URL filtering. F5 synthesis. How to configure URL filtering on a Palo Alto firewall. Hi, I'm Brian Popov, a security consultant at Checkpoint Specialist. In today's video, we'll. Hello? Hi. Sorry, sorry. Fine. I guess we'll do that again then, shall we? Hi, I'm Brian Pocock, a security consultant for Checkpoint Specialist and Nebulous. In this series of videos, we're going to be looking at some of the performance enhancement features that can be performed on Checkpoint security gateways. In this first video, we'll look at SecureXL and how packets can be accelerated through the firewall. SecureXL is a software acceleration product installed on security gateways to deliver wire speed performance. It is either implemented in software or in hardware with the use of acceleration cards. Nokia accelerated data path modules were available for IP series appliances, but have since been replaced with a Checkpoint Security Acceleration module. These are available for the 21000 series and deliver sub 5 microsecond latency. The Checkpoint firewall kernel is placed between the network and host operating system's IP stack. Traffic traverses the firewall kernel before being routed by the host OS. With SecureXL enabled, an acceleration device is placed between a network interface card and before the firewall kernel. Any traffic eligible for acceleration is sent straight back out the network without the need to traverse the firewall kernel. To decide which traffic is accelerated, SecureXL templates are generated. Accept templates are used to increase the speed that new connections are established by matching the new connections to a set of attributes. When a connection matches the accept template, subsequent connections are accelerated without performing a rule match, thus avoiding the firewall kernel altogether. This is known as fast path. When a connection matches an accept template, but further inspection is required, for instance the threat prevention kernel, the core XL layer passes the packet to one of the firewall instances to perform the processing. This is known as medium path. Finally, a new connection, which the SecureXL device is unable to process, is sent to a firewall kernel for full packet inspection. This is known as the firewall path or slow path. Drop templates increase the speed at which connections are dropped. When a connection matches a template, subsequent connections are dropped, reducing the overhead on the firewall kernel. Drop templates are generated from the rule base using a special algorithm which produces ranges of addresses for which incoming connections should be blocked from. This is especially useful for combating denial of service attacks. There are a number of limitations that will determine whether SecureXL connection templates will be generated. Traffic that matches a service that uses a resource. Traffic destined for the gateway itself. Rules that require legacy user authentication or security servers. Non-TCP, UDP, GRE or ESP traffic. SIFS traffic and multicast before R77.10. There are a number of best practices to follow to ensure you get the best performance when using SecureXL. Appliances with multiple buses available should have NIC work interface card modules installed and used evenly. Each NIC should be bound to a separate CPU core where possible. Interfaces that serve the same connection should be assigned to pairs of cores on the same physical CPU and unnecessary synchronization should be disabled, for instance DNS traffic and ICMP traffic. To identify whether SecureXL is working correctly in your environment, first check SecureXL is enabled on the security gateway. This can be performed using the cpconfig command. Option 9 displays whether it is enabled or disabled. Next, we use the fwaccl stat command to check the current status of SecureXL. In this example, we can see that accept templates are being generated. If they're disabled, the command will display the rule that is preventing connection templates from being generated. Finally, we use the fwccl stats est command to show the distribution of accelerated connections using the fast path against connections that have had to be handled by the firewall kernel using slow path. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video, we'll be diving into checkpoint core XL and multi -queue. If you want any more information or to contact a member of our team, please click here. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.
No, I'm not. So the wrong side.